Welcome to Grand Rapids tonight. I'm Crystal Hilliard with your weekend rundown. This is the first weekend of October, so you know what that means. Pierogies and vodka for everybody. All the Polish halls will be open to the public all weekend. The annual parade kicks off Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. So the days of perfect weather, art everywhere, and suburban tourists taking over downtown are dwindling down. That's right, this is the last weekend for Art Prize. The final watch party is Friday at 5 o'clock in Rosa Park Circle, featuring domestic partners at 5 o'clock. And then at 8 o'clock, you can choose to either go down to the city garages and watch the final Art Prize winners be announced, or you can just watch it right from Rosa Park Circle. If you're going to any outdoor events this weekend, make sure you bring an umbrella because it is supposed to rain all weekend. If you feel like getting into something a little more professional, try some networking and live music. First Fridays at Link Community Revitalization are always a good time. Looking for something more sexy? Try Leggings and Heels at Club 1111. That's upstairs Louis Rocket Lounge. DJ Larry Maddox is on the ones and twos. Cash prize for best heels. 21 and up and there's a lot of people on this flyer. All right, this next event is, dang, there's a lot of people on this flyer too. Red October at Lincoln Country Club is from nine to one. Tickets are $10 to get in if you buy them before nine o'clock. $15 afterward, complimentary buffet. Now for some live music. First, let's head to East Town. Hip hop heads, there's nowhere else you need to be other than Billy's. The seventh album release party is Friday night. So if you want to party and dance, this is where you need to be. On Saturday, some live blues for you. The Thirsty Perch is swinging into Billy's. Both shows start at 8 o'clock, $5 cover, 21 and up. If you're looking for some live music but don't want to pay cover, go to Mulligan's. The Fault Line plays on Friday. Flood the Desert is on Saturday. Now we can't talk about live music without talking about the intersection. Doors open at 8 o'clock for mega 80s. $10 cover, 21 and up. And on Saturday, if you've got 10 bucks, you can go see Frank Turner and the Sleeping Souls. Just around the corner at the Pyramid Scheme, real friends and a whole lot of other people I've never heard of take the stage on Friday night. Tickets are $14, but you can save two if you buy in advance. And then hipster alert, Touche Amour is in town on Saturday. Tickets are $12. Both of those shows are open to all ages and start at seven o'clock. A lot of stuff is gonna start getting scary. First up, the Hollow Wicked Festival at Teasers. Doors open at 6.30. A lot of live bands, best dress contests, and giveaways every hour. Tickets are $10 in advance, $15 at the door. Also on the spooky list, ah! Wait, that's not scary. Yeah! If you wanna be scared, the Haunt and the Forest of Fear, they both open this weekend. And for all those spooky houses and Forest of Fears, be cautious because those things can get scary. I'm just, ah! <laughs> What? Did somebody say Saturday? Yeah! Yes! If you see a bunch of people walking downtown with illuminated balloons, this is not a Bone Thugs video, okay? It's called Light the Night. It's a leukemia research walk that starts at the downtown Y at seven o'clock. And if you like dubstep, there is no way you won't be at the Delta Plex this Saturday. Bass Nectar, who throws an amazing show, is in town. Tickets are $37.50, but you can save five bucks if you buy in advance. This show is open to all ages. Flashback to fourth grade. Ladies, who do you have hanging up in your locker? Be real. If you're like me, it was Lil Bow Wow. Well, now he's all grown up, well, kinda, and coming to the Amway Grand Plaza. The 106 and Park BJ will host the Black and Pink Ball. Live performances by Bunny DeBarge and my boy Jamal Chilton. Tickets are $35, but you can save 10 if you buy in advance. If your high school student has actually behaved this semester, reward them. That last event was 21 and up, but this one is for the kids. It's the All City High School Icebreaker at Creston High School. Tickets are $20 and Bow Wow is hosting this too. Proceeds from both events go towards GRPS, Breast Cancer Research, and Jashad. I've never heard dance music, dubstep, or Motown at Flanagan's, but they're throwing in a DJ and a cover this Saturday night. 
So we'll see how that goes. Now, if you're looking to get into something on Sunday, good luck. The only thing we know about is the Five Finger Death Punch Tour at the Orbit Room, and it's sold out. All right, a special shout out to a girl many of you know as Super Dre. She's moving to LA this weekend. So if you see a black girl with big hair outside Billy's on Monday night, chances are it's me. No, we're not the same person. That's it for the weekend rundown. Make sure you hashtag Run Rapids tonight if you go to any of these events and post about it on social media. We will retweet and repost all your stuff. Also, make sure you like us on Facebook so we can get you the Arena District's Weekly Beat. It's a list of everything going on downtown Grand Rapids. Subscribe to us on YouTube so you never miss a beat of Grand Rapids Nightlife and follow us on Twitter so you can stay connected at GR Tonight. I'm Crystal Hilliard. Don't be lame. Go out.